So it's the holidays, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be super cool if we did some vanadium chemistry? That's it. That's the pitch. We're doing this because I want to. That's it. And I, I think it'll make some good videos, and people have been liking the inorganic chemistry recently, so we're doing it. Vanadium metal. We have some vanadium metal lying around. We'll read the label. Vanadium, 25th of the 2nd, 2016. V from V2O5 thermite. So I did... One of these thermites on the beach for an explosion fire one video terrible video but i did make another video on this channel here about physically picking out the lumps of vanadium from the big slag i think it's called isolating vanadium from the slag i think it's one of the least watched videos on this channel which is fair enough i'm just hitting stuff with a hammer picking up its metal and so um, we have these lumps of metal but there's not a whole lot of lumps of metal we have some more vanadium pentoxide that's all i have here i was given this in a secret santa for the science manners community a couple of years ago so i had 90 grams initially i don't quite know how much is left we're gonna have to weigh that and then be nice to a thermite that's controlled the last one we did was completely under control so this time if we just try a little harder to to slow down the rate of thermite reaction we might be able to get nice big lumps of metal rather than just spraying out lumps of metal across everywhere and get a low yield from it all right 31 grams of this wonderful orange powder it's pretty dense it's a very interesting color as pretty much all vanadium chemistry is it ends up being very nice pretty colors it's not yellow it's a nice orange color so let's use say 20 grams let's use 20 grams today this is my trusty aluminium powder i got two pounds this is so this is one pound i got two pounds back let's say early 2013 when i wanted to do this thermite week thing that i did on my main channel back in 2013 we used most of that first pound up pretty much in that week and then the second pound has lasted me well i mean six years at least one of the chemicals that's really i've been using consistently for all these years and it's still you know hasn't oh my gloves are so sweaty sorry it's like 40 degrees today so there's all these flies too fuck off like so sorry if i look really sweaty in this it's because i am sweaty here we go so if i reacted the stoichiometric amount of this with this much vanadium pentoxide I put a spark on it and set it off it would go for about 100 milliseconds it would be brighter than the sun and then we would spray the yard with molten metal it would be very very fast very violent very dangerous and not very successful so what do we do we have this small blender here and i would like to try blending up my own aluminium powder just from the crappy aluminium foil that i have usually this doesn't work with thermites because you want it to be relatively fine but seeing as we don't want it to be fine we want it to be reasonably coarse to slow down the speed of the reaction i think that might work All right, we're making progress, although this kind of grinding makes the thing very hot, so we're gonna let it cool down. I mean, it doesn't help that the room temperature is 40 degrees, in case I haven't already mentioned. We'll burn out the motor if we just try and do this for 10 minutes straight. These things aren't designed very well to begin with, actually. I mean, it was 30 bucks, what do we expect? But they're really not designed for long periods of use, grinding metals. Here it is. It's fine-ish this is probably the bit i'll receive the most criticism from in the video because i know a lot of you guys do some amateur chem as well and i feel like every amateur chemist has their own particular way of blending up aluminium foil <laughs> so this is good i'll just see how much of this is actually here because it's hard to judge the weight of aluminium powder by looking at it so it was a little bit over seven grams we've got 20 grams of vanadium pentoxide we need 10 grams of aluminium powder so if we have seven of this three grams of that and and then mix that in there that'll be our uh, aluminium to vanadium pentoxide but that's not quite enough oh to, i reckon reckon that slows it down enough so what we can do is we can play around with one other thing which is flux our reagent from this is this rock here actually they're not rocks they're minerals this is fluorite so fluorite in the reaction mix is going to do well several things actually first of all it's going to act as a fluidizer so it's actually going to get into the melt and make the whole mix less viscous so that will allow the metal to kind of pull together easier if the mix when it's molten is not as thick second of all hopefully the fluoride will form a eutectic with the alumina that's going to be formed the aluminium oxide and that will hopefully then be more liquid at a lower temperature it should stay molten for longer and the third thing it does is potentially having sort of alkali metals and and also the the anion the fluoride will react with the surface coating of the aluminium when it when it's hot and make the aluminium slightly more reactive so it will begin to melt and react at slightly a lower temperature it'll melt easier be molten for longer and thinner when it's more molten and the catch is obviously that if this is a bit of a heat sink so actually melting this 
you get no heat. There's no reaction going on in melting this. It's not going to go on to do anything in the reaction. So you don't get heat, any heat out of it. So it's a heat sink. This is good in our case. So it should slow down the reaction. The real question is how much of this do I add? And that is an answer I don't know. I can't find any information about amounts to add. So I don't know. I mean, this is a lump of fluorite. It's quite nice, but there's got this white patch here and quite as nice so if I just try and chip off that or we'll chip it off grind it down and then add it to our mix if I really wanted to do proper science I could have half the mixes with the fluorite and half the mix without the fluorite and we could compare and contrast but but to get good amounts of metal we really want a large mass so we want to really do it all in one go to get big lumps of metal otherwise we're going to have you know small lumps in both rather than one big lump from one big mass because we want all that heat from that reaction that doesn't scale too well when we start to subdivide it Very unsure if this is a good idea, but our reaction container is going to be this glass bottle here because we want the reaction to happen. We don't want heaps of heat in that reaction as it happens because we don't want it to go too fast, but then we want that slag to be as hot and stay as hot as possible because we want those bits of metal to coerce. If we have a metal container, my worry is that um, it will suck all the heat out of the slag. But if we have a glass container, yes, it might just shatter everywhere. It might be an awful container, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Why not? We're going to have a lot of secondary containment. I'm not going to just plonk this on the bench and set it on fire. That would be a bad idea. Okay, so finally I have three grams of just the stoichiometric mix of the vanadium pentoxide and the fine aluminium powder. So this comes out of the 20 grams of the um, vanadium pentoxide that we put in there. So there's like 18 grams in here and there's two grams in here and one gram of that powder. And this is just going to help it going at the start. So we're just going to put this in at the top. Not very convinced at all in this reaction vessel shape. So we've got the mix in here. It's it's off axis because I don't want it to be as spread out. I want it to kind of have some depth to it. So putting it on the angle kind of makes that triangle bit have more depth to it. So I don't know. It's, it's in this secondary containment. So even if it does spray stuff everywhere, I can put the lid on. It's not going to go anywhere and we're not going to cause any fires because there's been enough of that around here lately. <laughs> it's not what I need on a 40 degree day, a grass fire. So we don't want that. So I'll just go get the fuse and the lid. I was going to go put the lid on, but obviously the big lid covers everything and then you can't see anything being filmed. And I thought about how I started this video by saying I'm doing this. You guys enjoyed this kind of content and I was thinking about how much you wouldn't enjoy me putting that lid on and not being able to see any fire. So yeah, look, we got the camera here. Hopefully it's far enough distance away. Hopefully the glass contains at least the fireball. So even if the glass shatters, it, it resists the metal getting sprayed everywhere. So look, I've got some degree of confidence that it won't spray everywhere. So let's just leave the it off and and get some cool film so <laughs> let's do it
God, fuck off. It's so hot. <laughs> Straight away we see there's some unreacted mix in there, which is always disappointing to see because that's straight away that's lost yields doesn't look like a whole heap but you obviously want that to go to completion but now we're gonna have to wear gloves to pick through this that's fine yeah so this is a problem right so you can see each tiny little silver bit of metal is a vanadium but it's tiny 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 so it hasn't really coalesced so if i have this bit of slag here vanadium in it like this bit here but um it's very hard to pick that out there's some big amounts but i'll, I'll keep collecting them and, and show them off All right, so I managed to collect four grams here. None of them are huge lumps. Got one or two reasonable sized amounts, but four grams is not a whole lot. I am tremendously sweaty. In case I haven't mentioned it's hot. Look, I could pick through this stuff forever. And obviously they're not very high purity and it is hard to tell the difference between melted aluminium and vanadium because it's all, you know, if it's a little lump of metal, I, I'm, I'm picking it out. So I'm fairly sure some of these are just aluminium bits that didn't react and just melted together into a little ball for our next task with this we don't need it to be super pure we just want as much metal as possible so this is our biggest nugget here that's quite impressive i wish they were all like this size that's that was really the idea of this experiment to try and get all the nuggets to be this size i wasn't expecting it all into one big metallic block but if there was more of this size and less of the 0.1 millimeter spheres then we'd be able to recover a lot more but i'll just break this i'll show you how metallic it is on the inside so it does shatter eventually Didn't really improve much in terms of size of the nuggets or, or amount from the last thermite we did, which is a little disappointing. I feel like I slowed it down, but I think really the key part is physically containing the slag so that the metal can coalesce together. Because if it sprays everywhere, like it did in both reactions really, this one more splattered, this one definitely sprayed everywhere. Just the physical separation of the metal makes it um, hard for it to form big lumps. Physically confining the, the slag, even under those extreme conditions, is, is important to getting good good amounts out so ah well maybe in the future so we've got a little bit over four grams i picked a little bit more out um and we've got about four grams here so together it's about eight grams so in the next video in this series what i'm going to be doing is reacting this with chlorine gas to form vanadium tetrachloride because i think that'll be beautifully photogenic and i love chlorine you, you know this by now i love working with chlorine so <laughs> that'll be great so i'm really looking forward to that so thanks for watching um we have enough vanadium metal to continue on to the next step so excellent see you next time I'm sweaty. It's hot. Have I mentioned? It's hot.